We are living in a changing world, and that is an absolute understatement. Everything seems to be shifting around us. And one of the things that is changing is the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. CO2 has pretty much doubled in the last 200 years, and that's because of our activity as humans, mainly burning fossil fuels. And we can see some of the direct consequences of that in terms of the changes it's had to the weather. Even though we ourselves are not aware of it as breathing animals, we can detect it with instruments, and we can also detect the effects that it has on plants. CO2 is critical for plant growth and development. In the current CO2 levels, plants are actually limited by CO2. However, as CO2 is rising in the atmosphere, plants stand to benefit from this. One of the knock-on effects of this rising CO2 is that plants become less palatable for herbivorous animals, such as insects. Leaves can become thicker and harder and more difficult to eat. So we also have to be concerned with not only the indirect effects in terms of plant quality, but also the direct effects that elevated CO2 is likely to have on the beetles, particularly in terms of their survival and their growth. So it just so happened that Nick was growing cactus at elevated CO2. And he was growing them at pre-industrial levels, current levels, levels that we're expecting in 30 years' time and levels that we're expecting in 100 years' time. And we thought, why not? Let's put some dung beetles into the same chambers and see what happens to them. And what we found was a massively disturbing surprise. As the CO2 levels went up, the insects took longer to develop, they came out smaller and less of them developed, so it affected their mortality. Across the world, insect numbers are literally collapsing. And so what we had here was a possible explanation for the insect apocalypse. And what it means is that not only is elevated CO2 affecting the climate, it's also affecting animals who are delivering ecosystem services to us. Insects play a crucial role in our ecosystems and in the case of dung beetles, losing them to increasing levels of CO2 is likely to cost us dearly in terms of ecosystem services, with their major role as recyclers likely to be decreased or reduced altogether and this could have potentially disastrous consequences as our ecosystems shift out of balance, making us more concerned about rising CO2 levels. So what can we do about it? Well, principally, we have to reduce our dependency on fossil fuels, and we have to support the politicians and the scientists that are trying to promote the use of renewable energy. And if we can go that way, we stand a chance of dealing with this CO2 that is changing our world.